Happy birthday. What have you done that matters? Happy birthday. You're starting to get fatter. Happy birthday. It's downhill from now on. Try not to remind yourself your best years are all gone. This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Hello everyone, hope you're well. Happy November. I can't believe it's November already. I especially can't believe it's uh, that time of year because it's my birthday today. Yeah, yeah, God, another year older. 26, blimey neck. Anyway, I hope you're all well and that you're having a good month so far. And we've got our Q&A to tackle. So before I get into that, let me just introduce the toys in the background. So at the back, we've got blind bag figure Cinnamon Breeze on the side table. At the front of the little table, I've got a CQ model of a Mini Cooper Polizzi car. And then over on the side, in front of the clock by the rose pot, there is a Transformers Armada Mini Con figure of Makeshift. So that's the introductions over let's get to the questions from youtube first off shall we from youtube george brown asks do you have any favorite characters from my little pony in generation three it's minty and thistle whistle in generation four my main favorites are pinkie pie applejack starlight glimmer trixie princesses luna and celestia and in generation five my favorites are pip zip izzy and more recently, Misty. Xavier Flabonio asks, are you going to do a totally legit recap for the Winter Wish Day special? Presumably this is something from G5. Um, I've not actually heard about it, really. Um, but when it comes out and I know a little bit more about it, um, then I probably will, yeah. Miley Sparkle asks, what is your favourite traditions at Thanksgiving, Maple Leaf? Now, I'm from the UK and we don't generally celebrate thanksgiving over here um but i guess hypothetically speaking if i did celebrate half thanksgiving i guess knowing me and my stomach um it would probably be the thanksgiving dinner <laughs> that would be my favorite lps moonlight showings asks what's your favorite g5 pony all my g5 main series figures and also the mini world magic figures but probably my favorite g5 pony toy um, is this Izzy Moonbow plushie. Just look at how adorable she is. Look at her. She's just as cute as she is in the show. Look at that face. Look at it. Yeah, that's probably my favourite G5 pony toy um, amongst others. <laughs> she's the one that I go to the most, obviously, because she's by my bed. Favourite G5 ponies are really what I said earlier, to be honest. M4A Take Thunderbird asks, one, do you know about the TV show Find Me in Paris? I'm really sorry, I have no idea um, about this Find Me in Paris programme. Um, it sounds interesting though, I'll have to look it up. Two, all sing Doctor Who, specifically the recent Power of the Doctor. I'm sorry, but I just don't like Doctor Who. I'm actually a little bit frightened of it. What? No, that's absurd, why are you frightened? Well... Honestly, it's mostly because of you guys. Oh dear, I am sorry to hear that. I suppose that's because of that whole exterminate thing that we do, but you know that's just acting at the end of the day, don't you? I'm still not convinced. What's going on? Ah, Stuart. Apparently this stallion here says that we're scary. Well, you can't blame him, Rupert, but he has got a point. Why are you guys so small? I'm not gonna lie, I made that sketch over well, nearly two years ago, and I've been looking for an excuse to use it in a video. So, yeah, I've finally done it. But, um, yeah, uh, again, I'm really sorry. I I really do not like Doctor Who. George Brown also asks, what is your favourite song from My Little Pony? As ever with this sort of question, I don't have one favourite song. Um, but my most favourite songs from My Little Pony are The Spectacle by Countess Coloratura, Hearts Strong as Horses, sung by Cutie Mark Crusaders, obviously the Smile song, Rainbow, that was sung by Sia, or Song by Serenade from the My Little Penny the movie. Another one of my favorite MLP songs, um, which I can never really listen to without crying, is um, The Perfect Pair. Yeah, that's a beautiful song. 
Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of Bronies and Pegasuses out there who will agree with me. I like Celestia's ballad that she sang when uh, Twilight turned into an alicorn. There's so many other songs that I could talk about that I like. Um, I guess the only other ones in G5 really are Danger Danger, Fit Right In, Glowing Up and Follow Your Beat, really. From Instagram... Sniffing Plastic Ponies asks, Favourite thing about Ponycon? Lawson 44 also asks, How was your experience at NLP Fair? They say never meet your heroes, but I have to say that meeting Andrea Libman, Nerdy Nom Nom, MLP Fever and Okami Girl 64 was amazing. They were all really, really nice people and I'm glad that I finally got to meet them all. And obviously another big highlight of UK Ponycon was just going around all the merch stalls and getting more stuff that I probably don't need, but... It made me happy buying it anyway and uh, just meeting other fellow MLP collectors. Daniel Spatavaka asks, firstly, do you own any MLP clothes? Into the wardrobe we go. Now, somewhere around here. Um, ah, there we go. Here's my brony t-shirt that I wore to PonyCon. And I don't know if you can see the definition, but this is supposed to be a dictionary definition extract. Probably the best definition that you could ever get of brony. And then behind that, no, that's, no, sorry, um, no, no, that's my Beatles, ah, no, that's not even it, that's Bloodhound. Um, here we are, I've got a Nike Brony t-shirt, um, in fact, I thought, oh yeah, and I've got another one of that t-shirt as well, so I used to have a Rainbow Dash t-shirt that was blue, and it got Rainbow Dash's cutie mark on it and said 20% cooler. And I used to wear it a lot. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of it because it got tatty because I wore it so much. Secondly, what's your favourite MLP plush? Open brackets, non-bab, closed brackets. That little Izzy Moonbow plushie earlier. But these are my favourite MLP plushies. My most recent one, Batania, that I got from UK Ponycon. Little Pinkie Pie plushie, which is not that little actually. Um, found her in a charity shop a couple of years ago. Then there's Princess Celestia. She's a Hasbro plushie. And I love her because if you press her front left hoof, her wings flap up and down. And, and then also down here, bought from PonyCon last year, this tiny little Pinkie Pie plushie, which is more like a beanie baby almost, but she is adorable. Do you think we're forgetting somebody? How about this dude? Tiny Pony Plushy Perfect Harvest. Of course, a celebrity on this channel. So, yeah, th but these are my favourite MLP plushies. And finally, your favourite sweater, lol. It isn't so much what you call a sweater as a fleece, because it's that sort of material. But it's still quite thick. I do have a couple of fleeces like this, but this is the thickest one and probably what you would class as a sweater. But yeah, so this is my favourite one. And I think got this back in, well, nearly, just about two years ago, uh, from Keswick in the Lake District. So, that brings us to the end of November's Q&A video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as ever, thank you very much to everybody who submitted a question on both YouTube and Instagram. If you like what you see, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and leave a little cheeky comment and a like if you fancy. And I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Cheers, guys. Take care. And if you cannot obey, then you will wither away. And your feet will become very sore. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find that a peanut has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense But if you understand this, then you're mad It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense And the singing is also quite bad